Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music, and we're going to talk about how you can strum through a song called The Bard Song by Blind Guardian. And we start out with kind of this really cool little violin lick, and we're going to end up capoing this on 4th fret to kind of match the recording. But you can start out 2nd fret on the D, 4th fret on the D, open G, 2nd on the G, and then open B, and then 2nd on the G, open G, and then 4th on the D, and then play 4th on the D again, and then open G. Four on the D, open D, and then we got a little lick at the end where we go four, two, open on the D string, and then do a hammer on from the open to second. So I'm playing the open string and kind of put my finger down with enough force to kind of carry the sound. So you got two, four, oh, two, oh, two, oh, four, four, oh, four, oh, four, two, oh, oh, two, two, four, oh, two, oh, two, oh, two, oh. To, you could kind of throw in some bass notes actually for the chords that kind of get implied there where you could go two four oh two and then open e with the open b and then the two oh four and then play fifth on the a string with the d string four and then four oh four oh and then we could play second on the a string with the, the d string four and kind of work that lick down so you kind of have that two four oh two and then open e with the open b two oh four Five on the A string with the four, oh, four, oh, and then the two and four together for the two, oh, oh, two. So that might be a cool way to kind of enter the tune. Now the chords that back up that lick actually start on an E minor, and the way you play E minor, first finger goes to the A string on the second fret, second finger on the D string on the second fret, and if you strum all those together, that sounds an E minor chord, it sounds really, really sad. And then from the E minor, we're going to go into a D major chord, we're going to play D major. First finger goes to the G string, second fret. Second finger goes to the high E on the second fret. And third finger goes to the B string on the third fret. And if you strum the D string to the high E string, that sounds a D major chord. It sounds really, really happy. And then from the D, we're going to be going to a B minor chord. And one really easy way to play B minor is you could play a B minor 7, where you do first finger on the A string, second, second finger on the G string, second, and third finger on the high E second fret. And you kind of strum the A string to the high E string, and that sounds a B minor chord. And he'd be going back to E minor. So E da 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 E minor da 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 D da 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 D minor da da E minor. Now the weird part about that intro though is it's in three four times. So so I like using a down down up down for that time. So you have kind of a down down up down. It's kind of a strum pattern to back that up. Intro, then we're going to be going into our verses, which actually follow that same progression, but now we're in 4-4 four, four time. So you end up doing kind of one of my favorite strum patterns. 4-4. Four, 4 four is a down, down, up, up, down, up. So you'd have minor, down, up, down, 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 So we try that through our progression. pre-chorus part where we go to a C major chord and we play C major first finger goes to the B string on the first fret second finger goes to the D on the second fret and the third finger goes to the A string on the third fret and if you show them this the, the A string to the high E string that gives you the clearest sound and we end up on a C major it sounds really really happy and then we end up with this really really cool uh, little little part and it actually works around a lick where you play third fret on the high E string and then third fret again second fret on the high E string and then we play that again, and then open E, and then three on the B string, and then second on the high E, and then third on the B string. And you could kind of back that up with, with kind of basses too, like third on the low E string for your three on the high E, second on the low E with the, with the second on the high E, open E with the open E, and then the three on the, on the B string, and then the open D string with the second on the high E for the third. So you kind of be going G, G, F sharp, F sharp, E, D, F sharp, D is kind of around that lick. And the chords that would back that up would start on a G major chord. We play G major. First finger goes to the A string on the second fret. Second finger goes to the low E string on the third fret. Third finger goes to the high E string on the third fret. 
And if you strum all those together, that sounds a G major chord. It's kind of this big hit where we do kind of a G major, D major, E minor, D major, G major, D major, E minor, D major. And then from there, then we go into our chorus part. Now our chorus part, we go to an A minor chord, and we play A minor. First finger goes to the B string on the first fret, second finger on the D string on the second fret, and third finger on the G string on the second fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an A minor chord, and it sounds really, really sad. And then from the A minor, we go to E minor, we kind of alternate between those until the end of our phrase where we go to a, kind of a C major, and then a D major, and then we go back to A minor. And then we end up kind of repeating that, and that part's actually back in three. So you have kind of A minor down, up, down, E minor down, down, up, down, up, A minor, E minor, A minor, D e minor, E minor, C, D, A minor, C minor, D e minor. And then instead of C major, we go to a C minor chord, and we play C minor. First finger goes across the entire third fret. Second finger on the B string, fourth fret. Third finger on the D on the fifth fret, and the pinky on the G string on the fifth fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a C minor chord, and it sounds really, really sad. We end up doing the C minor three times, and then from there, then we go to a G major with kind of a down, down, up, down, and then we hit a D with kind of a down, down, up, and then there's this big hit on the C minor chord at the very, very end of our, our bridge part or our chorus part. And that kind of leads us into our bridge part. And on our bridge, we do the E minor twice, and then we do a G major, and then an A minor, and then we're going kind of quickly, so we end up kind of halving that. And this part's in four, so we have a E minor down, up, up, down, to our outro where we've got a G major and then a D major and then an E minor twice. And in our outro actually we're still kind of in three so we got kind of G, D, E minor, G, and then an A minor and then we do a D major at the very very end. Now the weird part is to play along with Blind Guardian instead of starting on an E minor they're actually starting on a G sharp minor. So to play along with the recording what you want to do is take a capo and if you put the capo on fourth fret then you're now your E minor is really a G sharp minor. The very, very beginning, actually, we kind of got that intro where you could even kind of use that, that, that violin lick to kind of kick things off, which I think is awesome. So you may want to kind of think about that kind of using that as kind of that two part to kind of intro the tune. And then from there, that, that, or you could, you could strum through that part. <laughs> so you could use the lick, or you could do the E minor with down, down, up, down, D, down. Interesting though, a lot of times I like adding bass notes to, to what I'm strumming. So on the E minor, you could do kind of a bass note on your first down of the strum pattern. So on the E minor, you have the low E string for your bass. On the D, you have the D string for your bass. And on the B minor, you have the A string for your bass. So we try it that way. We have E minor, low E bass down, up, down, D with the E bass down. times until we go into our verse part where we turn that into almost a 4-4 idea where we could do the E minor with a down, down, up, up, down, B, down, down, up, up, down, B minor, down, down, up, up, down, E minor, or we could add basses to that too, bass, down, up, up, down, D with the D bass, down, up, up, down, B minor, the A bass, down, up, up, down, B minor, the A bass, down, up, up, down, we repeat that four times until we hit our pre-chorus where we got kind of our C, down, up, chorus part and we could even add in basses on our chorus. Our A minor would have the A string for the bass and our C would have the A for the bass and the D has the D for the bass. So we try our chorus with a bass down up down up. We'd have A minor with an A bass, C minor with a bass, C minor with an A bass, C minor with a bass, C minor with an A bass, C minor with a bass, C minor with an A bass, C with an A bass, C with a D bass, A minor with an A bass.
chord that are A minor, E minor, E minor, E minor, E minor, E minor, A minor, but then we go to C minor, and then from the C minor then we got our G, D, E minor, and then from there if you wanted to there, there's some cool, and when we get to our bridge there's this really cool lick where you could kind of go third on the high E string, second on the high E string, open E, third on the B string, open E, open B, and then first fret on the B, second on the G, and then open B, and then we kind of start that lick over again, 3-2-0, three, 3-0-1, oh, three, oh, but then we go to the high E twice, and then second, and then third, and then fifth on the high E, and then you can kind of do a slide from 5 to 7 on the high E. So you have 3-2-0, three, 3-0-0-1-2-0, oh, 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 and then we kind of start that over, 3-0. And then we got the 0, 2, 3, 5, 5, 7, or you could throw basses into that. And then open E's, and then kind of that G with the 1, 2, open E with open B. 3, 2, O, 3, O, O. And then we got the 3 on the low E string for the G for the 0, 2, 3, 5, and then the open A for the 5, 7 slide. Just kind of a cool little lick there if you want to kind of follow that. Or we get to our bridge with bass notes, and now we're in four through the bridge. So we have E minor with low E bass down, up, up, down, E minor with low E bass down, up, up, down, G with the bass down, E minor with an A bass down, E minor with low E bass down, up, up, down, E minor with low E bass down, up, up, down, G with low E bass down, E minor with an A bass down, E minor with low E bass down, up, up, down, G with the G bass down, up, up, down, E minor with an A bass down, up, up, down, G with the G bass down, up, up, down, G with the G bass down. back through our verse, back through our pre-chorus, and then we'd hit our last chorus, and on our last chorus we actually kind of leave off our trick ending. So we got kind of an A minor, E minor, A minor, E minor, A minor, E minor, A minor, C, D, A minor, C, D, A minor, and then we start that over A minor, part and on our outro we just kind of alternate between the G D and the E minor twice so we have and it's in three. So we got G with kind of that bass down and down D with D bass E minor with B bass G with low E bass D with the D bass E minor with low E bass G with low E bass D bass E minor with low E bass and we end up repeating that six times and then at the very end we do a big hit on G major and then an A minor chord and then a big D I think for myself, I, I'd almost want to hear that E minor from the beginning, you know, to make people clap. But that's the basics of how you can strum through Bard Song by Blind Guardian. So good luck!